NEC Expo is a, an annual exhibition for a school of mechanical engineering students in their final year. It's really uh, an opportunity for them uh, to practice the skills that they learned over the previous four years. Students work in groups and they uh, usually design and build a uh, system related to real life and to engineering problems. In this exhibition we uh, display these projects, we allow the students to talk enthusiastically about what they have achieved, explain it to the public, interact with industry. I want to use it as well to advocate for engineering in general as a career and also emphasizes its impact on our daily life. So this is a compressed air motorcycle and instead of using a fuel air mixture, we expand air inside a series of chambers to turn the motor. We designed a marine current turbine, um, so in 2009 they designed this optimal diffuser and that helps to re-energise flow, increasing the efficiency of the turbine. In 2011 they also then did research on tubercles, which is an example of biomimicry of a humpback whale's pectoral fins and it's found that that helps to delay stall effects. So this year what we've done is manufacture um, both years worth of research into a design that we've come up with and put together a testing methodology to take it out and find the best configuration of blades and diffuser geometry. So this is an autonomous underwater vehicle, a submarine. We've actually taken over the project for this year. Uh, it's been divided up into two teams. One team focusing on the dynamics and the control aspect of it, um, and the other group focusing on more so the mechanical systems. The overall goal is to make the platform ready to perform a wide range of useful underwater missions. I think engineering is a really good pathway and I'm really glad that I chose it. It's just given me a good insight to seeing so many different areas that I can find a career pathway in. It's an incredibly rewarding degree. You've got a diverse range of projects you can get into. You can work in aerospace industries, um, mining, automotive, even um, environmental and power generation. That's another great thing. It's a very dynamic workforce and um, there's plenty of opportunities out there. Think in the time frame of 2030. The population is expected to reach 8.3 billion. The sustainability of the health system will be challenged. The demand on food will increase by 50%. The demand on water is going to be in the order of 30%. The demand on energy is going to be in excess of 100%. The question is, how do we resolve those issues? That's the task of engineering. That's the challenge that's in front of you. The only way those problems are going to be resolved adequately is through the application of the kinds of knowledge and skill sets that we've seen on display today.